Samsung's upcoming One UI 7.0 beta is just on the horizon and going from what has been leaked so far, it will bring a major overhaul to Samsung devices that we haven't seen in the past few iterations. A lot of details are already available on the internet, some concrete ones, and some still rumors. In this read, we have compiled everything we know about One UI 7 and all the features we can expect from Samsung's Android skin. One UI 7 will come to a bunch of Samsung devices. Considering the long list of phones that Samsung has in its portfolio, it will push out the upcoming One UI 7 to this year's flagships first, followed by its older devices. So you can expect to receive One UI 7 and all of its features on the Galaxy S24 series, Z Fold 6, and Z Flip 6 before other devices. Going by the leaks and rumors circulating on X, formerly Twitter, there are plenty of design changes and new features that we'll get to see with the One UI 7 update. Let's take a closer look at these features and break them down one by one. According to a leak, the default set of icons in One UI will see a complete redesign. They will feature more rounded iconography with distinct shades of colors that will make it easy for you to tell them apart. These new icons look quite refreshing from the current ones that we have grown used to. The change will be more prominent for camera, gallery, settings, and Samsung internet. Another feature taken right from iOS 18 is the bold view for app icons. Picking this option will expand the icon size and hide the app names. You can go back to the normal view with labels by selecting the classic option. Along with icons, One UI 7 will also bring noticeable changes to the quick settings panel. From the image, you can see it has more rounded, pill-shaped blocks, with separate pills for brightness and volume. The quick settings toggle takes up less space now, but you can still expand them to show a detailed view. In another move to blur the differences between Android and iOS, Samsung will be bringing a new option to show notifications on a separate page from quick settings. I imagine that you will have to pull down from the left side to show notifications and the right to bring up quick settings. You can, of course, show them in a typical merged view if you prefer that. In a small video shared by SmartPricks, we see another element taken from iOS that works just like the dynamic island. You'll see a small pill-shaped notification on the left side of the status bar, which you can long press to expand. OnePlus implemented this feature already with the Oxygen OS 14 update, so we might see more Android OEMs adopting it soon. While the status bar didn't see any major changes, the battery indicator did get the rounded treatment like the rest of the One UI 7 interface. It has a pill-shaped design, with the battery percentage showing up inside. Samsung will come with faster, more responsive app opening and closing animations. They have added interruptible animations in case you decide to close the app midway as it opens. Some new page return animations for the back gesture coming with Android 15 are also going to be available. This will go a long way to offer a more polished user experience. App lock is one of those features that is a must if you don't want others to snoop around your phone when you hand your phone to them. Going by an X post, we should get to see a basic implementation of it in One UI 7.0. I suppose it should let you lock apps using a passcode, password, or pattern with an option to unlock them with biometrics. It is still unknown whether Samsung will adopt the privacy space feature that is coming with Android 15. Samsung will be adapting live activities from iOS for the lock screen on One UI 7. The feature will be called Control Area, but it will work somewhat similar to live activities you will be able to track the progress of an ongoing song or your Uber ride. You can long press it to expand and show more details if you want to. Given the emphasis on customization in One UI, it always bothered me that we couldn't change the left and right lock screen shortcuts. Not without a good lock module, at least. But with the upcoming update, you will be able to add any shortcut that you want to quickly jump into from the lock screen. This is a great accessibility feature, and I am glad Samsung is finally adding it. Lastly, we should get to see some new widgets both for the home and the lock screen with more resizable options. Currently, there are only a few widgets that you can add on the lock screen, so some new ones are surely going to be welcomed. Samsung is the only Android manufacturer to create its own ecosystem. However, it has not been able to take advantage of it in any significant manner like Apple. This will change with continuity notifications, which will let you send notifications, incoming calls, or video calls to other Galaxy smartphones and devices signed in with the same Samsung account. The camera icon isn't the only thing that has received a redesign. One UI 7 also updates the layout of the camera app, 
bringing controls and all other options at the bottom section of the app. Options like flash, aspect ratio, timer, and settings, which used to be at the top, have now been shifted right above the camera shutter button. Placing all the different camera modes like portrait, video, and night mode below the shutter. It leaves the top portion of the UI empty, while making the options more reachable with one hand. Samsung is leaving no stone unturned in promoting its Galaxy Eye features, which leads us to suspect that there is a possibility that we'll see some version of Bixby with LLM capabilities. It could be an on-device AI model assisting with things like voice transcription, contextual replies, real-time translation, and call screening. Another possible change that could be coming with One UI 7 is a dark theme for icons. This will be similar to what we have seen on iOS 18. Icons will take up a darker tone when you switch to the dark mode. Samsung is also bringing a vertical app drawer with the next version of Samsung's Android skin. However, it is only going to be available using a good lock module. This will be a typical vertically scrollable drawer with the search bar at the bottom, making it one hand friendly. These all the features that we currently expect to roll out with One UI 7.0. There is no doubt that this is ramping up to be significant changes to the interface, and there is a lot of hype around it. When the beta drops, we are surely going to be the first ones to cover the update, so if you want the latest coverage, then keep checking back. What do you think about One UI 7.0, and is there a particular feature you are most looking forward to? Let us know in the comments below. Meanwhile, Samsung's own UI 7 beta based on Android 15 was expected to drop this month, but that has yet to happen and now Sammobile is reporting that the update is pushed to September. There's no time date for the new release, but the Galaxy Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, and S24 series will be amongst the first devices eligible for own UI 7. Samsung was initially expected to launch its One UI 7 beta program towards the end of July a date that's obviously come and gone at this point. The reason for the delay, it's been reported, is that Samsung is waiting on the rollout of its One UI 6.11 update before pulling the trigger on the beta program. As of earlier this month, the update had been delayed indefinitely. It's a rather confusing situation, especially seeing as Samsung generally touts the rollout of a new One UI version in press releases before the update actually commences. Again, we've heard nothing on that thus far. In any case, September seems like a reasonable timeline on Samsung's part for this beta to be released, and we definitely expect Samsung to debut and subsequently ramp up the rollout of One UI 6.11 in the near future. It just hasn't started yet. So, while this latest rumor could be true, it's worth taking with a grain of salt. So, are you excited for the upcoming One UI 7 from Samsung? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section, and for more updates you can check out our channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, take care.